Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Right after doing a video talking about, hey, what's coming up? I don't know, it's a little bit weird. We ended up getting a campaign that is exclusive to North America, which did not happen on JP. So I'm going to talk about it, and that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment down below, tell me how you feeling about this. I'm, I'm going to say right now, the banner that they released with this is for a very select group of people. The rest of us probably won't care too much, but for the people who really want this person, it's a big deal. So let's get into it. Um, so the big thing is obviously for the banner. <laughs> I'll just go to the banner right here. It's that Miyu is back. Um, Miyu is one of the story collab, not story, collab units that are super limited. She's only been rerun, I believe it's been three times over on the JP side of, no, two times on the JP side of the game. Because she came with the when the Prismalia event came back, and then she was reread once, and we were supposed to get that banner uh, a year later. And that banner is actually very good because it also has a specific CE that is amazing for NP gain that I actually want to get. Unfortunately, that CE is not in this specific banner, but it does have me win it. It does have Ilya, and it does have Mysterious Heroine X Alter in it as well. Um, Miyu is not on the same level as the other collab 4-star units in that she needs a lot more buffs. They gave her a tiny buff uh, when she came back. I don't know if they included it in this one actually. Um, it looks like me. No, they did, they did not. They, in fact, they did not. So you're going to have to wait a while before Miyu is useful in some way. Um, but for the people who actually wanted Miu, who are Ilya fans and love Miu, then this is a big surprise for them. I wish you the best of luck if you are summoning, but for the rest of us, it's a pretty easy skip banner unless you really like Mysterious Heroine X Alter or Ilya. I actually have both of these already. There's a part of me that kind of wants Miu, but I feel like I'm going to wait till the better banner because it's going to have the CE that I want in it, which I think is called Sapphire. Hold up, let me pause real quick. Okay, yeah, this is the CE that I'm talking about. It's not in this banner. It'll show up in the next time she's here, and that's probably when I'm actually going to summon for her. If you're curious why this is good, um, at max on Limit Broken, it can make it so you start with 50% MP gauge, and its MP generation is 30%, which is pretty nice. It's actually very useful to have. It's a lot of MP generation for one thing, and 50% starting off is very nice, so that's kind of like what I wanted, but yeah. Now let's go into the actual campaign, because there's actually stuff that comes along with it, which is pretty nice. So, special total login bonus. A special login bonus will be available as part of the Back to School campaign 2022. Log in five times, counted once a day during the period below to receive 20 Saints Quartz, which is pretty nice, 10 away from a multi, basically. Um, masters who have cleared Singularity F will be eligible. Basically, hey, play the game. Ah, uh, so we'll start with two, three, four, five, six. Not bad. Five days. Not too bad. Ooh, there's an increased Dark Dash login bonus reward as well, starting from the start of the campaign, which is the 29th. Special bonus will be added to the Start Dash campaign login bonus for a limited time. During the campaign period, the rewards for the seventh day will be doubled, including additional Sync Quartz times 30, and summon tickets will go up to 22 Sync Quartz summons for a limited time, or for a maximum of 22 sync quartz summons, place to the case that all rewards are using the same quartz summon. Hmm. So yeah, it goes pretty basic, pretty understanding. 30 sync quartz, 20 summon tickets, pretty nice for the people who are coming back. Um, I forget if start dash is the thing that when you start the game, or if it's if you come back, I can never remember. Either way, I just know that I don't get it, so I don't pay that much attention to it, but if you're someone who cares about it, it's pretty nice. It's only applied to one specific day, but hey, still nice. Limited time returning master consecutive login bonus. Masters who have been away from the game, this is the one, um, for a while will take advantage of the returning master consecutive login bonus for a limited time, login for 7 days in a row. During that period, rewards include 30 sync quartz with up to 11 sync quartz summons and other items to help strengthen your servants. And that starts the same day. So this is for new players. This is for returning players. Got you. Um, yeah, on day seven. So there you go. If you feel like returning, 
I guess your time is to return now. The first returning master long components will be distributed at the beginning of this. All further returning will be the British day. Uh, how, when, by what time? Masters will fill both of the following. Okay, so you had to have not logged in since the 6th, which is June. So, if you specifically stop playing between, if you did not log in between June 30th to any current day, you're good. You're good in that case. Interesting. Then yeah, there will be half interlude stuff for this. Um... Yeah, it's an interesting campaign, a back-to-school campaign, which is funny because I don't think, they, I don't think Japan does stuff like this for back-to-school stuff. Um, but also their back-to-school date is different from ours. Uh, this is a good sign of more things are kind of coming come in. Someone in the most recent video I uploaded previously had mentioned the fact that they actually said that the next Lost Belt thing will actually be in November. So that kind of makes me curious about what's coming up. And he was also spectating about like, hey, I don't think we'll get Christmas rerun during this month because it's just too much to grind. And I think, you know what, now that I see this, there totally could just be an entire month of weird things to kind of pad things out. But I'm kind of interested to see what they're going to do. The back to school thing is definitely a surprise. Uh, wasn't seeing any of this coming. I did, funny enough, did expect them to bring back Miu earlier than when she originally was um, scheduled for. I just didn't expect it to be <laughs> right now, so I think this really kind of leads quart, quart, quartz. This really leads to thinking that Arjuna Alter might be returning for Christmas this year. So, mm, mm, <laughs> might be a smart thing to start saving. Because there are definitely going to be more banners now where we just don't know what the units are going to be that are going to be available to us. It's scary to think about. It's how Japan lives the game for the most part. You know, we're going to be in a little bit in the dark for some of the stuff that might come out of nowhere and kind of shake our courts away from us, but a decent campaign to start. Oh, and this campaign goes until the 12th? I wonder if during this period they'll drop the... Um, the grinding, uh, hunting quest stuff. Hmm. I don't know. We'll be interested to see. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you the best of luck if you do end up summoning. I hope you get Mew, or you get Ilya, or you get Mysterious Hero and Exalter, whoever you end up getting. As for me, I will see you guys in the summoning in terms of <laughs> when Guda Guda drops, and not any time before then. Uh, I really took a lot out of me to not summon on Skahawk's banner, just because I... <laughs> There's a part of me that really likes the CE, so I was able to hold back on it, so I'm ready for that day. But yeah, until next time, everyone. You guys have a good day. Peace out.